right, y'all. All right, we back with another one. It's up church, and his vlog is called "I Dumped Nicole Up uh, Our Bar." I ain't even from try to pronounce this part one, so he probably gonna come out with another one. But I know from the look of just me having on pause, this gonna be some funny shit. <laughs> I already know. Man, so on that note, let's go and get into it. <laughs> Again, you know this happened to me once. 
I mean, a lot. Get it? Oh, she wanted the attention. That's what it was. She wanted the attention. Mm. And she got mad because everybody was coming up church. And, and that's how some of these females is, though. When they see, they want the attention. And that would pull, you know, whoever you dating away. If you like that, want the, want the attention all the time. Everybody got life. And that's just part of him being famous. You know, people gonna come up to him, want to take pictures and stuff. But she the jealous type, too, you know. From the way up church is flame, and she straight up the jealous type. Yeah, all the time in Canada, actually. I'm like, okay, hang on a minute. Taking pictures, taking pictures. You know, it's just like this for me in Canada. <laughs> all, the, all day, every day in Canada. And it was hard. So I'm sitting over here like, why does she keep telling me this? So we get upstairs. And she's like, yeah, we're telling like me and my friends here. My friends are going to be here. My friends, they're meeting us here. <laughs> She gets up there, she gets one drink. And I don't think you guys understand. I am a too slick, ain't nothing that into me. I drink water the whole time, Leah. <laughs> and I watch everything that happens. If somebody in a group orders like a drink or something, I watch it go from the bartender's hands to the bar top, mm. to the person carrying it. Straight up. they carry it all the way over to where they give it to us. Okay. Came straight from the bar. The whole time we're up there talking to her friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, friends. Uh, the whole time we're talking to these random ass people that you met on Facebook. People are coming up, taking pictures, talking to me. I mean, hey, I love it. It's Nashville, baby. I'm from here, you know what I mean? She starts getting irritated because nobody knows who she is. And she's mm. pissing her off. Mm. She's fucking like pacing back and forth and like still drinking this one little drink with a bunch of fucking ice in it. <laughs> now just kind of in her own world looking at hey, hey, hey. With my chin up high. A bay, a bay. <laughs> so I'm sitting here talking to this cool ass dude with an Indian jacket on. He's fucking grooving and dancing real hard. And I wanted to talk to him because he looked like a really cool uncle. And then she taps me on the shoulder. She's like, like I'm going to go to like, the bathroom. Like, the thing where you poop in the fucking hole. I'm like, okay, bye. It's over there. Well, when she went to the bathroom, I always make sure if, I, if there's females in our group and they go to the bathroom, I watch them go to the bathroom. Mm. And I watch and watch to see if anyone else goes in the door that's not supposed to until they come out. So that's what I did. Nobody went in behind her, bro. <laughs> You'll see why I'm laughing in a minute. Nobody went in behind her. She came out. After she came out, I continued to watch the door based off what she just told me when she came out the bathroom. So I see her coming out of the bathroom, so I like look another way to start scanning the room, see who's in the room. And she comes up to me, she goes, oh my god, totally crazy. I was like, what is? She's like, I just totally met a fan in the bathroom. Knowing she didn't at all whatsoever. I'm saying, what the fuck am I supposed to think? You know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking, damn, bro. This bitch just went in there and like clicked the fan button to dry her hands off. I was like, I know what I'll do. I'll tell them that I met a fan. And it was us. So then. <laughs> <laughs> So then she's like, I don't think that's gonna say it. I'm like, okay. I'm walking down the street, get back, get in my Mustang. We get in my Mustang. She goes, oh, oh no. I totally don't like feel good right now. Oh no. Something's happening. I was like, uh, no, not today, Junior. I picked my phone up. I said, uh, yes, I have a Nicole Arbor in my 2020 GT Shelby Cobra Mustang, and she is telling me right now that she doesn't feel good. She thinks she's been roofied. Fuck that i drove her ass all the way to the er bro <laughs> we get in there they start running all these tests the fucking doctor lady comes in there and she's like uh miss um there's nothing in your system oh god are you sure i've never felt like this <laughs> um yeah i'm looking at the sheet right here nothing is wrong with you oh my god i don't know this can be one of those weird things <laughs> ah! yeah, no the sheet's right here you're fine what it was, was her broke ass was trying to make some money real quick, and your boy wasn't going. So then after all that, that was... Yep, that's how they get you, too, straight up. That's exactly how they get you. Man, it's good that you don't tell church. It's good. It's good. No, 
You ain't gotta worry about that. Cause sometimes you can see things before it happened. If he noticed that, and you know, they just started, you know, dating and stuff like that or whatever, and he noticing it, end it. End it. Don't keep going with it. Don't stay in a relationship straight up. End it. Quick, fast, in the hurry. And that's what he did. Good. Good. Was when the whole thing came up where she was like, Why won't you have sex with me? I was like, Because I don't want to. I'm not attracted to you, bro. Have you mm. fucking seen yourself on YouTube? You look like transgender Lord Farquaad. This is Lord Farquaad from Shrek. <laughs> and this is also Lord Farquaad from Shrek. Country boy, I love you. I mean, dude, who would want to even see you naked after seeing this picture of you? No, like, really, what's up, what's up? Did you fall asleep under the fucking power lines or something? She went to the news. She went to, like, a battered woman shelter. Mm. And she told the judge that I killed people. I, I did <laughs> Yeah. Good, you don't, know, but you still had to go. See, you still had to go through issues and problems with her. It could have been worse if you still would, and you actually did have sex with her. That could have been way worse so and it probably did i gotta we gotta finish the video it probably she probably did make it worse for you but you ain't gotta worry about it no more but straight up that's crazy buried in my house then i had an underground room where i tortured and killed people she really told the fucking judge this I swear on my life. Am I mad about it? Fuck no, that shit's hilarious, bro. Imagine walking in court high as shit, and you're looking at this <laughs> ugly ass Canadian who looks like Marilyn Manson, and they're like, hey, he killed somebody at the roundabout. I seen him get up and he buried him over mm. under the roundabout. It's a great story to tell your friends around the campfire when you're all fucked up. <laughs> I mean, shit, bro, it don't bother me. My life's great. This bitch left her house at like 18 years old like a Pokemon trainer with some titties her parents bought her. Mm. She's been walking around ever since. She's 40, dog. She says she's a comedian. She crashes when other comedians make jokes. I got like a YouTube star, right? Or something like that. Ish, I'm just a comedian. And then I just did a YouTube stuff. <laughs> this lady really believes her own horseshit, shit, huh? I wonder what's going on up there in that little noggin of hers. Like oh, not shit. <laughs> Have you really tricked yourself into thinking YouTube gives a fuck about what you're doing? You think the CEO of YouTube's like, hmm, we must get Nicole Arbor to make more shitty ass videos. No, they're, they're, they're on an island somewhere. You're not good at YouTube at all. You're not good at comedy. Mm. You're not good at singing. <laughs> you're not good at lying. You're not even good at acting. You suck at all those things. Which is why the only reason you have views on your old shit is because everyone used to make fun of you. Everyone's Damn. forgotten about you. That's why your last video has barely 30,000 views. And Damn. it's called How to Make an Orgasm. The one after that is called Dick Pick Co. You can't just get horny and demand people to have sex with you. No, you're not. Yeah. Really you're actually not making anything. I just checked. You're making like $30 a month off YouTube. It's like Damn. a dollar a day. That's Napoleon Dynamite money, fucking. Like, mm. on Instead of lying about it, you didn't get in a car wreck. Okay, you weren't hospitalized for a long time. None of that. At all. Prove it. That never happened. You're making that up because you can't do stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy actually takes a lot of skill. Yep. You have to have the phone. You can't stand there and tell jokes. You're not able to. You, you don't have that talent. So you lie about it. And then you say, oh, no. Well, see, what happened was I couldn't stand. And then I was like, well, fuck it. I'll just do sit down comedy. Yeah, it, you're lying. You're just not good at stand up comedy. You're not a stand up comedian. 
you're a chick with fake titties <laughs> who maybe once upon a time used to be able to giggle and people think it's cute. Now people just think it's weird. Mm -hmm. You're just old, crazy, wide-eyed fucking person in the corner going, <laughs> you, you look like a villain in a Batman movie. <laughs> But yeah, after all that court and all that shit, she dismissed it. Well, she's trying to dismiss it because she's a liar mm -hmm. and she can't back up none of the stuff she said. And she's broke and she's out of money. Mm -hmm. So now she's trying to run away. But that's not going to happen. You owe me a lot of money. So uh, you uh, better get good at telling jokes <laughs> and not just... Damn. That's crazy. That is crazy. But hey, it's, it's people out there that do that shit to you. And mainly it's all for the money. People out here will use you till they can't use you no more. Straight up. Everyone on the internet knows your joke. Everyone feels sorry for you. Everyone feels bad for you. We feel bad for your parents. We feel bad for anyone related to you. Uh, you're the laughing stock. And you're a grown ass woman. You're a grown ass woman. Living off your super grown ass parents. Mm. You don't have a real job. You don't have you haven't bought a house. You haven't done anything. With all Damn. this fake bullshit you got going on, you've done nothing. You don't even have a driver's license. You're too fucking dumb to go get a driver's license. Mm. You don't own a car. You, you don't own nothing. You bank on taking good guys like me and Tommy Fix and Matt Santorno. Like I say, we got those out there. Take advantage of you and use you up. Like I say, it's, it's, you, know, you never know. If you got that real one until you connect with them, even after you connect with them, you still got to really get to know them because you just never know until you see their true colors. There's people out there that'll get you and take advantage of you, especially if you got money. Straight up. And all of us, it's court. That's what you bank on. You bank on us <laughs> the internet's not fucking with you no more because everybody's sick of your shit. You ain't gonna be able to get a boyfriend because ain't nobody gonna want to date you because, I mean, fuck, you got four famous dudes in America that have already dated you and we all have the same story and we didn't even know each other. Mm. You're a fucking joke. That tells it all together. right there. And stop making videos called This is America. You're not a fucking American. Mm. You're not a good singer. Your voice sounds like shit. <laughs> like actual shit. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Damn, but hey, he's speaking facts, though. He's speaking facts. I don't know who this person is, but man, at the church and they put you out there, about oh we ain't nobody ain't no other dude who gonna want you no mm -mm. cause he letting them know hey what to expect straight up but y'all let me know what y'all think about that I mean he was speaking facts he was letting other dudes out there that if you run into this woman this is what to expect she gonna probably end up getting you for your money but y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments give it a like subscribe to the channel if you knew and uh we're gonna be back with another one y'all already know on that note i'm out